Darwin's Theory of Evolution Chapter 15 The Puzzle of Life's Diversity 15 to 1 In 1831, at age 22, Charles Darwin joined the crew of the HMS Beagle as a naturalist for a five-year voyage around the world. Darwin went to shore and collected plant and animal specimens for his collection. He studied the specimens, read the latest scientific books, and filled many notebooks with his observations and thoughts. This led him to propose a revolutionary hypothesis about the way life changes. Evolution What is evolution? Any change in the heritable traits within a population across generations results in new species, Darwin's observations. Life is diverse. Darwin observed many different kinds of plants and animals. All were well suited to the environments they inhabited. He was impressed by the ways in which organisms survived and produced offspring. Fossils, the preserved remains of once living organisms. Some of those fossils resembled organisms that were still alive. Others looked completely unlike any creature he had ever seen. 3. The Galapagos Islands The islands are very close together but have very different climates. Some are hot and dry with little vegetation while others are rich in rainfall and vegetation. Each island had its own unique assortment of plant and animal species. Giant Tortoises of the Galapagos Islands And on Pinta Island tortoise necks were somewhere in between pinta tower pinta island intermediate shell marchena james fernandina santa cruz isabella santa fe hood island saddleback shell floriana hood on the desert like hood island Tortoises had long necks. Isabella Island Dome-shaped shell While on the lush rainforest of Isabella Island, tortoises had short necks. After his voyage, Darwin spent a great deal of time thinking about his findings. Had animals living on different islands once been members of the same ancestral species that developed different characteristics after becoming isolated from one another in different habitats? Ideas that shaped Darwin's thinking 15 to 2. James Hutton, 1785, proposes that the Earth was shaped by geological forces which occurred over very long periods of time and is millions of years old. Charles Lyell, 1833 proposes that the geological process that shaped the earth are still occurring now how did hutton and lyle's work influence darwin's theory of evolution this understanding of geology led darwin to conclude if the earth could change over time so could life the earth must be older than was previously thought Thomas Malthus 1798 observed that birth rate far surpassed death rate. Proposed that famine, disease, and war were necessary and unavoidable population controls. Darwin is influenced because he sees that there will be a struggle for existence within species. Jean Baptiste Lamarck. 1809. First to propose a scientific theory for the way life changed over time. First to suggest that all life descended from a common ancestor. First to realize that species were specially adapted to their environments, Lamarck's theory. Lamarck proposed that through selective use and disuse of organs, organisms could gain or lose traits. Further, he believed that those acquired characteristics could be inherited by offspring. He says that this is how species changed over time. The male fiddler crab uses its front claw to attract mates and fight off predators. Through repeated use, the front claw becomes larger. The fiddler passes on this acquired characteristic to its offspring. What's right about Lamarck's theory? First to develop a scientific hypothesis about evolution and recognize that organisms are adapted to their environments. 
What's wrong about Lamarck's theory? Didn't know about genes and how traits are inherited. Acquired traits cannot be passed on. X. If you lifted weights your whole adult life, and then had children, your children would not be born more muscular. Darwin presents his case 15 to 3. After Darwin returned to England in 1836 he filled notebooks with his ideas in the process that he would later call evolution. He did not rush to publish his ideas because they disagreed with the fundamental religious and scientific ideas of the day. He asked his wife to publish his ideas after he died. 1858, Alfred Russell Wallace, another naturalist, publishes an essay describing his work in Malaysia and outlining the same ideas that Darwin had for 25 years. This provided the incentive that Darwin needed to publish his own ideas. 1859, Darwin publishes on the origin of species. Presented his evidence for evolution. Darwin proposes a mechanism for evolution called natural selection, inherited variation and artificial selection. Darwin noticed that plant and animal breeders would breed only the largest hogs, fastest horses, or the cows that produced the most milk. He called this, artificial selection. Selection by humans for breeding of useful traits from the natural variation among different organisms, breeds of dogs chihuahua, bred from Tequichi of Mexico. By Mayans, had religious significance. Saint Bernard, bred by monks around 1050 AD. To rescue travelers of mountain passes in the Swiss Alps between Italy and Switzerland. Irish wolfhound, bred in Ireland too. Hunt wolves and elk. Dachshund, bred in Germany as early as the 15th century to hunt badgers. Evolution by natural selection. Darwin compared processes in nature to artificial selection. He thought that nature could select organisms based on their fitness, natural selection. Genetic variation is found naturally in all populations. The environment presents certain challenges. Struggle for existence, members of each species must compete for food, space, and other resources. Some variation is more favorable, some is not favorable. Natural selection, count. 4. Individuals with the favorable traits, adaptations, will survive and reproduce more than those individuals without the favorable trait equals survival of the fittest ability to survive and reproduce equals fitness any inherited characteristic that increases an organism's chance of survival equals adaptation 5 the favorable variation will become more common in the population descent with modification suggests that each species has descended with changes from other species over time Further suggests that all living things are related to each other and that all species, living and extinct, share a common ancestor. Evidence for Evolution The Fossil Record Fossils equals the remains of ancient organisms found in layers of rock. Fossils are thought to be the same age as the rock they are found in. Rock tells the history of Earth while fossils tell the history of life. Transitional fossils Tictalic, fish tetrapod, shows the transition between two species. Evidence, count, 2. Geographic distribution. Darwin thought that the Galapagos finches could have descended with modification from a common mainland ancestor. Evidence, count, 3. Homologous body structures. These are structures that have different mature forms but develop from the same embryonic tissue. Similarities and differences help biologists group animals according to how recently they shared a common ancestor, homologous body structures. Turtle Alligator Bird Mammal Ancient lobe-finned fish Not all homologous structures serve important functions. The organs of many animals are so reduced in size that they are just vestiges, or traces, of homologous organs in other species. 
these organs are called vestigial organs. Evidence, Count, 4. Embryology The early stages, or embryos, of many animals with backbones are very similar. Similarities of embryos provides evidence of a common ancestor. Patterns of Evolution 17 to 4 Macroevolution refers to large-scale evolutionary patterns and processes that occur over long periods of time. Five important topics in macroevolution are Extinction Adaptive radiation Convergent evolution Coevolution Gradualism and punctuated equilibrium Extinction More than 99% of all species that have ever lived are now extinct. Mass extinction equals when large numbers of species disappear. Result is the remaining species now have new niches, jobs, to fill, and may then thrive causing bursts of evolution that produces many new species, adaptive radiation. Process by which a single species or a small group of species evolves into several different forms that live in different ways. X. Darwin's finches, more than a dozen species evolved due to different habitats, from a single species, can also happen on a much larger scale. Extinction of dinosaurs equals adaptive radiation of mammals. Convergent evolution. Process by which unrelated organisms come to resemble one another, due to living in similar environments. They develop structures that look and function similarly, but are made up of different parts equals analogous structures. EX. A bat's wing, mammal, and a bird's wing are analogous structures. Coevolution. When organisms that are closely connected to one another by ecological interactions evolve together, the two species evolve in response to changes in each other over time. Gradualism versus punctuated equilibrium. Evolution has often proceeded at different rates for different organisms at different times during the history of life on Earth. Gradualism. Darwin felt that biological change was slow and steady, an idea known as gradualism, 